Hello, it's me, Shin Mario, and today I'm going to show you tutorials how to make a DS layout setup in this video that is on my stream. Video or stream, whatever it's called. <laughs> so, yeah, I, yeah, I just created my own red DS system along with the, the first screen and the second screen I just made the animation one. So, yeah. That's why I had to teach you a thing, huh, to how I'm supposed to make this one perfectly. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first off, make sure you have the melon deals with you. If you don't have one yet, the link to the description along with the tutorial. The next thing you want to know is search on Google, then type the DS layout. The next thing you want to know is to find a perfect layout setup like this one. The one with the white one. And of course, the one with the DS one, the DSi system too. I'm gonna choose the red one, because the red one is my one of my best one yet. Once you find the right one, use right click and use save image. Now, you have two options. You have to use Grimms or Photoshop, whatever you want to use. And for me, I'm gonna use Grimms. Okay, I'm in Grimms right now, so once you have a DS layout that you found, put it right here. Then you must get rid of the backgrounds, including titles too. Once you're done with that, make sure you export as and write the title. Nintendo DS Layout System. Okay, once you're finished, make sure you open OBS and then use Translate to move. If you don't have one yet, the link's in the description. And the reason why is because the move translate is the only way I had to move the DS up and down. Just like I did before in the beginning of the video. After you've got the moves translate, now all you have to do is get the DS layout. Use image and type the DS layout. Then find the DS layout like this one. Boom! My favorite color DS layout is here. Yay! Okay, now you have a DS layout, here's a few things you have like to know. First things first, you have to create the folder. The folder is the only way you have to make the DS move faster. To use the folder, press plus and use group as to use the folder. Then type the DS setup. I already have one, so we should be good to go. Okay, next things next is to put the DS layout into the DS setup. There we go. Okay, the next thing you gotta do is to use plus and use window capture. Okay, make sure you have the melodies.exe on the thing before we continue our next step. Okay, now is the perfect time to put the DS games into the DS layout. Now, the first thing you wanna know is the first screen. Now, use Control alt then put left click to crops. Now to make sure that the DS screen works perfectly good. Now put the first DS captured into the first DS screen. Make it fit. And make sure you have to make it fit perfectly. Oh, and don't forget to put Windows Capture right behind DS layout. Okay, now do the same thing like you did before, but this time put the second capture screen into the DS screen. Okay, once you finish the entire DS setup, make sure you put all the captures in the DS setup folder. And then you're good to go. Last but not least is a DS Move Translate. Now is the perfect time to add all four scenes. I'll, I'll explain the four scenes later. Okay, now we sure you have to copy it and place it each. Now, put the DS layout into the full screen, just like this. And don't forget to put the DS layout on the bottom in different scenes. Make sure you have to copy it and paste it wherever you need to. And voila! The DS layout is now ready to go! Yay! Well, in case you want to play Bowser's Inside Stories, put right quick on the DS setup. Then you have to put transfer and put 90 degrees CW Whoop! <laughs> I don't know why they had to put the DS layout like this one into this <laughs> nice and there you have it folks now we can record or live stream it at DS games like Mario Kart oh and by the way guys don't forget to put two different screens on the top 
and the bottom. So yeah guys, that concludes the tutorial. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.